Hey there folks, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to fix your service stability track along with your ABS and traction control lights on all 2010 through 2017 Chevy Equinoxes and GMC terrains. We're just going to get the vehicle jacked up and on stands and disconnect the battery and show you how to start the service. Alright, so before I get you on the tripod, I'm just going to show you this is the wire that we need to access right here. This is the wheel speed sensor. So we're going to show you it starts right there and it goes all the way into the back right down there in the wheel hub assembly so we're just going to set you down and show you how to access it and unplug it all right so we need to gain access behind this plastic flap here and to do that we're just going to remove this plastic rivet right here and then our wheel speed abs wheel speed sensor is right here So if we pinch, there's a little piece on the harness, we pinch it right back here and our sensor will come out. All right, so if you look at your wire, you follow it up, you'll see it comes up to this clip right here, right behind the brake line. It takes a 10 mil bolt to remove that clip. All right, and everything comes off. All right, so now it's clipped in three places on the brake line. We're just going to pop those clips open. And then you pull your sensor off of the brake line. Now we have to get to the back of the hub and unscrew it there. All right, so next I like to spray a little fluid film down in the hole. I lost my straw, but I'll try and get it in there. Now I'll prevent future corrosion. Now for our sensor, that is the part number for the, this is the passenger side front. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it on the reverse how we took it off. Just do this bolt hand tight. Then we're going to go clip it back onto our brake line. All right, and clip all of our brake line retainers in. All right, and then we take our clip, just run it behind the brake line, put it in place, and the 10 mil nut that you took off is gonna go back on. So make sure you save that. And again, just nice and snug, don't over tighten. All right, and then we plug our wire back in the way we took the old one out. If you look, the side with the prongs goes towards the back right there. Once it clicks, just give it a little pull. Make sure that it doesn't pop back out. Put your plastic rivet back, and we're just gonna go for a test drive and see how we did. All right, folks, so we had the battery disconnected on both the negative and positive terminals for 25 minutes during the service. So we're gonna start it up, see what happens. So the Stabilitrack logo still comes up along with the ABS and traction control lights. So it looks like we have to manually reset it with the code reader. So if you can get it reset with that code reader, then go ahead or see if you have a friend that can do it or a service station that can do that for you. So we're gonna test drive it, see if it goes out 
I'm gonna finish up the video here and we're gonna post it and I'll let you know in the description and in the comment section if the reset worked and if we have to take further measures. All right, hope this was helpful and please don't forget to like and subscribe.